Okay, so what if I put you right here? Hey. Hey. Hi everyone, good morning. Hope you guys are doing good. It's my very first time sitting down like this to talk with you guys and to vlog. It's gonna be the very first episode of my new series, My Future Diary. This whole series is really gonna be about my life now as someone that will move to a brand new country and little Q&A because I asked you guys to ask me your question on Instagram about everything you wanted to know about me moving to Canada because I received a lot of DMs so at the same time I'm gonna get ready because I look so pale I look like a freaking ghost and before we get started on the video I wanted to give a big shout out to care me for sponsoring it they kindly sent me one of their super lightweight and powerful vacuum cleaner that has been my new go-to in my apartment since I'm moving out soon it was the perfect acquisition to do a big cleanup in my apartment before packing my boxes it is so perfect for my small apartments so that it doesn't take much space but it's super efficient to clean make sure to use my discount code and check out their website for more information on their products so let me look at the question that you guys sent first question that i received a lot mostly because of my accent a lot of people were wondering where i'm from and so where i'm currently staying for the city or state that i live in for now so i live in france in paris we've moved in in march and we've been in the same apartment since then and i would say i don't think i love living in paris it's fun for a little time but really just a little bit of time so that's I'm currently saying and I'm French that explains the accent the next question was where in Canada I decided to move to Montreal for two reasons first one is that my boyfriend is moving with his job and his job is in Montreal and the second reason is because there is a club in Montreal that I would love to join cheerleading wise and it would be a very nice uh, occasion to be able to join this team did you visit first the question is really funny because every time I'm telling someone like oh I'm moving to Canada like the first question they ask is always did you visit before going there and then I realized oh yes it's true most people do visit before they move to a brand new country but I didn't and I realized that a little too late but it's okay I'm very excited about moving and hopefully I'm not disappointed when I get there is your boyfriend coming with you if no how do you plan to manage your relationship we are moving together we took this decision last year that we decided that we will apply for the Canadian visa and we got in it was really like if we end up not wanting to move for any reason we are still gonna stay in france and we're gonna stay together it's like really like a common project that we have to move to canada and not something that we wanted to do on our own so that's really good do you miss home with your mom i will say yes and no because i do miss like seeing my mom every day because we're very close and same for my sister that also live like in the same city than my parents at the same time even though i'm definitely missing living there every time i go back to where i used to live i'm so annoyed with everything so i think living there is not a solution and living here for now is not the best city for me would i like to go back living with my parents absolutely not but would i like to see them more often yes but am i moving to canada yes so it doesn't make sense what are you most excited about there is so many things the life there the people like cheerleading having a big apartment because for the exact same budget that we have here here we can afford like 30 to 40 meters square but in Montreal we can afford 90 meters square which is like even more than doubling the size of our apartment just because of that I'm so excited why are you moving to Canada there is not really a why I will say that the biggest reason is because I have nothing left to do in France I think for cheerleading wise I really want to like meet new people get to a new club meet a new coach and have new teammates and a brand new mindset because I really need it for work there is also a lot of like gaming office and job that are available in Montreal like Ubisoft and Oyoverse and everything they have like their office there so you know it could be like a great thing are you still gonna do cheer there there is a lot of like clubs that I'm hoping to see for the like open gym before I actually apply and try out definitely cheering next year for now I'm only a coach and it's really fun but I really do miss being on the map. It was giving me like a lot of like funds and motivation. And I really do miss that. Are we still gonna get Genshin content? Absolutely. My goal is to continue on working on Genshin content, also work more on Onkai Star Well when Zenless Zero is gonna come out. I also wanna work on contents for Zenless Zero. And I'm also outside of like Genshin content creator, I'm also a gaming journalist. So I wanna work more on that too. And I also really, really 
really want to get started on like vlogging lifestyle more content on youtube so yeah there is gonna be me on tons of different posts i don't know if that's something that you should cheer about but you know to me it's gonna be fun are you french or do you have dual nationality so i'm fully french i was born and always lived in france i never lived in another country the only time i've went to a country outside of europe it was last year for the cheerleading worlds this was the only time that i went outside of europe and it was to florida which is extremely different from canada are you a full-time genshin streamer or do you do it as a side patient so it was like a side hobby last year for the majority and then i quitted my job in december to go full-time in Genshin and gaming and content creation and this year is my very first year where I will be doing full-time freelance mission only and content creation which is super exciting what will you miss most about friends Ooh, so that's the last question and I would say well my family my friends good croissant good baguette good brioche that doesn't cost like an arm or a leg and my summer in Paris like the truly the parks the museum the restaurant mm. but there is more things that i'm like gonna discover there and that i'm gonna love so i'm excited about that i'm really really looking forward to all of this and hopefully i'm really gonna love it we'll see i need to finish doing my eyes and putting this in a roller and after i'm done getting ready i'm gonna head to eat with my mom at a restaurant so i'm super excited so let's finish getting ready and i will see you guys right after